This video is sponsored by BetUS. Follow my pinned Twitter post and my Instagram story for more details and use promo code JOIN125 to start betting your favorite sports to How I am 5, I slated to fight Sergei Morozov. This might be a tricky fight for both fighters. 5 or 6 foot 8. Uh, 5 foot 8, sorry. 5 foot 8, 69.5 inches of reach, 21 wins, 4 losses. 5 recently returned to Bantamweight where he destroyed Kyler Phillips and where he was TKO'd by Sean O'Malley. Which was pretty much of a surprising win, according to my mind, but Sean O'Malley proved that he has value. Now Paiva is trying to get back into the winning column, gonna fight Sergei Morozov, 5'5", five 67 five, inches of reach, Kazakhstani fighter, 17'5", is his record. Morozov is a different type of a fighter. He lost to Umar Nurmagomedov and Douglas Silva de Andraj via submissions, he outworked Kali Taha, but the former and one global bantamweight champ likes to take part in long bouts, in long brawls. He is technically a very, very mature fighter. He lost to Mavsarevlev also via choke, but uh, the fact is that uh, Paiva rarely chooses to finish the fight via submission. I mean, his submission skills are fair, but he rarely chooses to finish the fight via submission. He almost always takes part in long wars, which we've seen in the bouts against KKR France also in the bout against Zhaga Zhumagulov, so I have a feeling this might go all the way. I think uh, Sergei Morozov might actually parry Paiva's striking. Morozov will probably try to keep the fight clinching to drag the fight to the ground, as he'll be probably having the advantage on the ground, so... I think fight starts round 3, or fight goes the distance, but I'll rather choose fight starts round 3. If I must pick a side, I think Morozov has decent chances, but fight starts round 3 gonna be my pick.